Morning, uh, afternoon, mate. Sorry, obviously a, a, a pretty uh, impressive win uh, last night, mate. The feeling in the group must be a, a, a bunch of positivity heading into tomorrow. Yeah, one hundred percent. That was like one of the best days in, in Irish cricket, and it was great to be a part of it. Yeah, and everyone was uh, so much excited and just still wired like after the game. So I couldn't sleep myself like till three or four o'clock just thinking about the game. So yeah, it was great occasion overall and being able to defeat a team like the West Indies that have won two World Cups you must hold no fear going against uh, Sri Lanka tomorrow yeah 100 percent. you get a get a lot of confidence from that kind of a win uh, under such a pressure game so uh definitely like looking forward to the not just Sri Lanka game the other games as well uh knowing that you're guaranteed five games at least so yeah there's a lot of buzz around the group Uh, Shubham? Yeah. Hi, Simi. Congratulations for Ireland for qualifying for the next round. So, actually, it's been a long time since Ireland being to the second round. So, any additional pressure or you will change your strategy or something you will go like whatever you're going on since the years? Yeah, no, I think the pressure was before the, these games, before yesterday's game. So, that was the most pressure, especially after losing the first game against Zimbabwe. So, you know, there was a lot of pressure. So to come back from that kind of situation and to get through the round is obviously, you know, a huge achievement for the team. And yeah, now it's just the exciting part, just looking forward to play against some of the bigger teams and hopefully cause a few upsets. Would anybody else like to go? Can I go now? Ian, you can go ahead. Yep. Um, hi, Sammy. Uh, just the Hobart pitch seems to be suiting the spinners. Have you found the conditions uh, very good? Very good. Very helpful. Uh, yeah, I, it's actually uh, according to the stats uh, from the previous game, Big Bash and all. It's actually not a spinner friendly ground so because the boundaries are quite small square and the wicket actually doesn't turn much so i think that's a lot of credit to not just our spinners but other teams as well the spinners have bowled well um so i think uh the addition of nathan horace the spin coach has been great you know he's been uh we've been planning a lot uh, me gaz gartelani and george uh, so with nathan so that's helped us a lot uh, there's a lot of strategy and planning going in before every game against every batter. So I think that's that's a big uh, change for us, and that's why I think it's been successful. You probably deserved more than two overs yesterday, but Gareth bowled so well, I suppose, that uh, you didn't get a chance to come back. Yeah, uh, look, the way we look at it, it's not about like now individuals. It's more about uh, having that plan and just the matchups and stuff. Uh, so I think... Later on, there was no left-handers left, and with Gaz bowling so well, um, that's why I think Bali just went with uh, Gaz. Uh, but could be different tomorrow. Could be two lefties in, or maybe one left-hander. So I might bowl more over. So it's just getting that the job done. So it doesn't matter if you bowl two overs or one over. So we were just happy that the way we bowled and campaigned them for such a uh, you know uh, normal score to. to go and chase it out there. So anything under 150 was, you know, a big bonus, big win for the bowling team. You have to make the top four now to qualify automatically for the next World Cup in this uh, next stage. Um, looks like you've got the harder group, though, having uh, finished second. Is that... Uh, you preferred the, to be in the other group, would you? Uh, to, be, to be honest, we're just glad to get through. And uh, we're not even thinking about the next World Cup now. It's just about uh, taking each game at a time, you know, uh, and with the confidence we have now, uh, and it's shown in the T20 cricket in the other group as well that any team can beat anyone on the day. So, yeah, I think the pol the strategy would be just to go out there, take every game at a time, and then at the end of those five games, see where we are at, you know. So it's no no point putting an extra pressure uh, on us. So we just want to go out there and enjoy ourselves. Thanks very much.
Nathan, you can go ahead. Hi, Sam. How you doing? Hi, Nathan. All good, thanks. Uh, so we were told that the, when the squad announcement came out that uh, the reason why you got the nod over uh, Brian was you just offered something a little bit more attacking, uh, wickets-wise. Uh, you obviously got a, a handful in the limited overs you've had so far. Do so you feel like you've delivered on that so far? Yeah, uh, I think I think so. Uh, like I've whenever I came onto ball, I've at least tried to take wickets. I've, I've taken wickets early, so which obviously helps, you know. Uh, and that's uh, and I'm glad I, I was able to do that, uh, especially not playing that much in the summer and to come uh, to come here in Hobart, especially with the wickets not assisting spin that much. So I was glad in that front. And yeah, uh, overs wise, I think it might change. As we progress, you know, the wickets might turn a little bit more if we go to maybe uh, MCG or somewhere else. So he, he might bowl more overs. But at the main, the main thing was getting through this round and doing the job. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with the, the way I bowled so far. I know it's, it's been quite a difficult summer for you, like you mentioned there, out of the team. Um, and, you, you, and obviously you, you've had your, had your redemption, so to speak, coming back in. It was very difficult coming in for those two Afghanistan games because they were rain affected and you know not really suited to spinners. So to come in and, and now kind of finally get your chance now at a World Cup, I was wondering if you could just expand on what that means to you after after the difficult period that you had. Yeah, it was obviously quite difficult, you know, uh, going to the qualifiers, uh, doing well there, and then not playing and not getting picked in the squad after that. So. Uh, it was quite a tough one to take, but then I understood the strategy behind it and all the reasoning and all that. So I just took it on board and then actually helped me work more on the variations and stuff because that's I felt that's the only chance for me to come back into the team to, you know, to show that point of difference. Uh, you know, and I have been I have been bowling quite a, a few carom balls and leg spin as well, um, along with the office, obviously. So. I, I think they do have the skills to back that up. And yeah, it's a good start so far and hopefully carry that form. From the outside looking in, it, it looked like Horrocks coming in was a good thing for you um, selection wise. But, you know, we've, we've kind of been told a little bit that Hein Heinrich is also, you know, a, a fan of yours and, and was throughout the summer, even though you weren't necessarily in the side. Um, so I'm just wondering if you could talk about the, the kind of, do you feel backed now more than you did? By both, uh, by both captain and uh, yeah, uh, definitely. Like Nathan Harris has made a huge difference. So even when I uh, he I met him first, I met Stormont at training, and he saw me bowl, and he kind of got got excited with uh, the different stuff uh, I was doing with the ball, and uh, he he kind of backed me, and we did a lot of sessions, one on one sessions uh, at the HPC as well, uh, and uh, the chat I had with the coaches, they just wanted me to. Uh, go out there and try and take wickets and not worry about the economy or these kind of things because uh, they feel that the wickets are actually, you know, that that changes the game. So it's so if you go for even 40 or 50, but if you take three or four wickets, you've changed the game. So that, that kind of mentality is more attacking. Uh, similar kind of thing we with the batters, they have that much freedom now to go out there and, you know, take it on from ball one, basically. So that was a change. Uh, in the mentality there and as, as I said Nathan's got a big role to play with that and that's the role I want to play as well so yeah it's worked out well What about tomorrow uh, Sri Lanka who are you the most looking forward to coming up against I guess I mean maybe not necessarily match up bowling wise but someone like Hasaranga Yeah <laughs> I he obviously took the game away from us last time with the bat actually um, in the I think it was their second game at the last World Cup. So, you know, he's a dangerous player. Uh, but I had a chat with him after the game and he's actually a pretty nice guy, you know, just about spin bowling and different kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, uh, so he, he's an interest, obviously one of their main players. So we will be preparing anything with both with again, with bat and bowl. So, yeah, and then obviously they've got good players, but um, the way we played like yesterday, uh, I think we can take any team on. And the confidence is definitely there, and we got the momentum as well. So, yeah, it should be a good game. Hopefully, the weather stays well. So, 
sorry, just w- one more. Um, uh, there's a lot of talk about redemption, uh, someone like Gareth in the Namibia game, and they're doing well yesterday. It'll go under the radar, but I mean, the Sri Lanka game kind of is a bit of redemption for you, isn't it? I think you kind of bowling in the power play with last year against them was tricky, uh, if I remember correctly. So, you know, per you personally, a chance to put something right? Yeah. Uh, look, power play can normally can go either way. So, um, in the last couple of games, it has gone my way, but there will be a day when you will get hit for two or three boundaries uh, or maybe more. So, yeah, you just, just got to accept that. And I think we accept that as a team now that every game, one of the bowlers will get taken down. So, you know, and it could be anyone on the day. So, yeah, once you put that to one side and then just try and execute your skills and as long as you're backing your plans and doing the things that you planned on, that's good. But but you, the, the thing you don't want to do is go through the motions and, you know, uh, give those freebies away. So, yeah, it, I remember that game uh, and I'll obviously try and do better this time and hopefully come out on top. Thanks, Tim. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks very much, Nate. And we all um, close it there. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. And thank you, Simi, for your time. And all the best for tomorrow. No worries. Thanks very much.